To get long flakes on thin material is very difficult. That's like the hardest part for me and most nappers. But new guys want to do very long flakes on thin material when they first start. Well, you can you can do it, but it's usually luck. However, you can increase your chances of being successful if you make sure you have plenty of convexity. So this has got convexity. I'll show you how I try to drive a long flake on this thin material. Okay. Now I've already prepared the edge. I've already taken a, a big flake here, so I know I can do it. It's just, it is risky no matter what. Uh, flint napping is not like other crafts. Flint napping is a probabilistic skill, so it doesn't always work. Even though you set it up to where it looks perfect, it may not be. But one thing that'll help you reduce failure is to have plenty of convexity. Now I'm not going to show you how to run a long flake on flat surfaces because that's foolish. I've already said that you need convexity. So if I were to run a flake on a flat surface with no convexity, I'm contradicting what I just told you. So I'm not going to show you how to do that because to run a long flake on something that's not convex is something that'll defy or go against physics in most cases. In some cases there are exceptions where there are materials you can run long flakes on a flat surface or even a dished out surface. I don't know why it works that way, but in most cases it won't work. Okay, so I'm going to try a long flake on this convex area and I have a pretty good chance of success. Success just because I, I have a lot of experience and I know for the most part what has a good chance of working or not. I'm going to work the uh, areas that seem pretty easy first. Now there's original flake scar here, but it's still kind of convex, so I'm going to run a flake here. Yeah, it worked okay. It went to at least halfway, so that's okay. I'll just flip around and look for different areas where it looks convex, and I can run long flakes. These are easy near the, t near the tip, so I get used to that. I'm used to the material. Now let's do a bigger flake. There it goes. Nice. Because it's convex right there, it tends to cooperate. 